his first basket. Morning jockeying with Oakley for position. Foul called. Charles Oakley. The officials uh, for today's game. Ed F. Rush, Bernie Fryer, and Joy Crawford. Tom, we talked about how important it was for both Patrick and for Zoe to stay on the floor. You sure don't want to pick up funny offensive fouls, and that's what both players have done in the early minutes of this game. Off a screen, Leonard. Finds Brown. Again, he's the open man. This time he hits. Only one of three, but finally P.J. Brown gets one down, and Miami's up by one. Side. Oakley can't hit. Offensive board Ewing. Then he lost it out of bounds. Miami ball. Well, if Miami's going to give up anything uh, on the Knicks offensive end of the floor, they will be glad to give up that 18-foot jump shot by Oakley and take their chances. Mashburn, another three. Jamal Mashburn with two three-pointers in two attempts. And Miami has its biggest lead. Houston, entry pass to Ewing, lost it out of bounds. And the Knicks are running, uh, they pointed the wrong way, it's a Knicks ball, but the Knicks are running an awful lot of screens for Allen Houston. You got the feeling, talking to some of the players and to Jeff Van Gundy yesterday, they don't think Vashawn Leonard can cover Allen Houston. Houston with 27 points in game one, 19 in game two. Ewing. Patrick Ewing has uh, struggled in his shooting from the floor. Patrick coming into today's game, only 14 of 43. And being criticized for taking that ball away jump shot, Tom, instead of taking the ball strong to the basket. Patrick telling us that he's gotten some pretty good looks at the basket, just hasn't been able to hit. Mashburn, he's had the hot hand early. That's just inside the arc, and short, Childs takes it on the fly. First two uh, three-pointers came to him. He forced that shot. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Miami. New York controls with 19 to shoot. <laughs> Child. Child's just losing the basketball and uh, telling the official, hey, it, it didn't go off me. And it worked. They'll get it back when we return to the Garden. 7.08 left, opening quarter, Miami on top. This game is a, a coaching matchup between teacher and pupil. There are many who think Jeff Van Gundy deserves to escape the shadow of Pat Riley, and Riley is one of those. Now, I think when his contract comes up this summer, that uh, he should make what Patino earns. I mean that sincerely. I mean, people are going to laugh at me when I say that. Uh, Jeff is one of the, probably one of the youngest, he is the youngest, most gifted coach in this league. And I think the most important thing that Van Gundy learned from Riley was a work ethic. Both of them extremely hard workers. His fourth point of this first period and pulls New York within two. Full court pressure from the New York guards. Have to give Allen Houston some credit for shutting off Vashawn Leonard too as Leonard finally connects with that three-pointer. And that's a huge basket for uh, uh, for Leonard because he's really been struggling. Everybody talking about starts, but Leonard shooting the ball even worse than, than John has been. And, and they ran a pick for him, popped him open, got him a nice look for his first shot. That should help his uh, confidence. From up top, watch Leonard right here in the corner getting the basketball. And uh, Houston just getting there a little too late. Miami is three for three from behind the arc. Another outside shot by Oakley, and again, that plays right into Miami's hands. Exactly. Oakley now has missed his first three perimeter jump shots. Great catch by Morning to jam it home. The catch was the key there. And the catch and the position, because you let Alonzo Morning catch the ball that close to the basket, it's only going to be two points. Larry Johnson checked by Mashburn. 
Illegal, illegal defense. defense call. Here's the catch by morning in traffic. Oakley goes for the steal, and once he comes up empty, an easy bu bucket for morning. First illegal defense call. LJ, good backside defensive help from P.J. Brown, but he reached in to foul. First foul on P.J. P.J. Brown, one of the top defensive men on this uh, defensive-oriented Miami team. In fact, uh, both these teams, as we mentioned, put a premium on defense, and if you take the ball to the rim, expect to get knocked down. Exactly, but that's what Larry did because he went right to the basket Pretty good this season for Larry. Shot the ball well during the regular season, but the first round against Charlotte, of course, his old team, and so far in this series, even shooting the ball better. Had to listen to the critics all season long who talked about Charlotte getting the better of the trade with Anthony Mason and LJ performing below expectations of the regular season. He stepped it up in the playoffs. Hardaway to morning triple team. Good ball movement. The open man, Leonard, his second trifecta. And confidence is so important when you're shooting the basketball. And Leonard, who really has struggled since game one of the Orlando series, is now two for two. And Miami hasn't missed four for four from the arc. Childs blocked by Brown. Hardaway pushing the ball. Morning with the jam from Hardaway. And Hardaway knew when he passed half court, he was going to get a layup for Morning because Morning was running right down the middle of the floor. He drew the defense and got Morning the easy shot. And the Knicks will take a 20-second timeout. Well, Pat Riley being voted Coach of the Year for the third time. We asked him how it felt this third time around. But I feel different about this one than I did about the the other two uh, when i was voted coach of the year in los angeles it almost felt as though everybody voted me out of guilt <laughs> he was there for nine years and he's like let's give him one okay or something like that but uh but it was a little bit different the same thing in new york i i, I feel a little bit differently about this one because of uh, the players and how much they have uh, committed to it. You know, my coaching staff, I think, works as hard as anybody. I mean, it's a, it's a great group to work with and work for. And I think any kind of a, an award that comes out of that, you just, you just sort of appreciate a little bit more. I think the reason that it's so satisfying, Tommy, is because in L.A. and here in New York, the players were already there when Pat arrived. In Miami, he has built this team from the ground up. Miami leading here by 10. After the Heat missed their first three shots, they've hit seven of their last eight. And there's a steal by Hardaway. Attempted pass to Ewing, picked off by Hardaway. Morning, low post, guarded by Oakley. Double down momentarily by Childs. Oakley got a hand on it. It'll be Miami ball with 11 on the 24. I'll tell you what, the Knicks aren't saving anything. They're letting it all out. What a great hustle play. Oakley and then Child. But it's still Miami basketball. Jeff Van Gundy saying that was the difference in game two. Game one, the Knicks win in Miami. The Knicks the more aggressive team. In game two, he said Miami carried the fight to them and won the scramble for all the loose basketballs and other things. Shot clock to two. Smashburn lost it. Shot clock violation. Well, I think that Mashburn was aware of the shot clock. He just didn't have any place to go. All of his teammates standing still with the defense set, and Jamal had to take it himself. Turnovers even up at three apiece. Johnson, low post. Double down from Morning. Johnson gave it up to Oakley, another outside shot, another miss, Ewing the offensive.